Hey guys, so in this video tutorial, I'll show you guys how you can record your MacBook screen in a 1080p HD uh, resolution. And um, since I don't know the screen resolutions of IMAX, uh, maybe this may work with IMAX if it's not at a 6 by 10 ratio. But I know that Macs are at, like most MacBooks are at 6 by 10 ratios. Um, not at a 6 by 9 ratio, which a lot of people prefer. Um, and sometimes that can be annoying because whenever whenever you're watching like a video, you'll see bars on the top and bottom. Um, whenever you're watching a video on your Mac, and whenever you upload a screencast or a recording, you'll see um, like black bars on the sides, which sometimes is really annoying. You guys have to fix all that, so you won't see that. To do this, first of all, I'm just gonna go Chrome um, and just. Apple.com. Now there's no software that will change this or whatever. There's no software involved with this. It's just a device from Apple, like Apple, a good device that Apple provides um, to the public, which you can use to record to PhD. Now basically, um, the thing that I use to record in a 6 by 9 um, ratio format, even though I have a MacBook Air, um, is by using Apple TV. Okay. As you can see over here, 1080p HD. Um, that's the default screen resolution that the Apple TV ships with whenever you buy it or whenever you just like um, start it up or whatever. And basically, the feature that an Apple TV has that will allow you to record in a 1920 by 1080p HD resolution or 6 by 9. Um, format or ratio is AirPlay. Now AirPlay does not only work for iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, it also works for Macs. Any Macs um, and um, it can even work with an iMac I think. I don't know about that but I know for Macs because I have a MacBook Air. Now this will not work for Windows however. Now when you connect um, your Apple TV, like since I already have an Apple TV and I'm already connected to it, as you can see, here play this way. Um, um, so after you start up the device, after you connect your AirPlay, um, it's like a really easy process to connect to your AirPlay actually. So basically, like, the thing is, um, you have to connect your Apple TV to the same Wi Fi network your Mac is connected on, or even if you want to try it on your iOS devices, whatever your iOS devices. Or connected on like the Wi-Fi network. Now I'm connected to Nokia 3 and my Apple TV is connected to Nokia 3 through Ethernet. I mean Ethernet. Um, so okay. So basically, um, if you still don't think that it's at 10 PhD at like 10 PhD screen resolution, what you can do is you can go into System Preferences or Settings, I don't know what to call them. Displays over here. Um, optimized for Apple TV AirPlay, which is at 1080p HD. So yeah, you also have the option to go to 720p HD, but um, 1080p HD, as I said before, is a default setting for all Apple TVs. If it's not, I don't know what's wrong with the, your Apple TV or whatever. And basically, if you don't see the Apple TV logo, which is kind of like a rectangle with a triangle in the middle I don't know um, but the reason why you don't see it is because you may have Apple TV turned off in the settings so turn it on and we'll connect to AirPlay okay so now this does not only help with the screen recordings it also helps when you're watching movies or whatever if you want to transport it into a big screen or whatever so basically um, it's just really simple to do um, but it will cost you $100 and just think about all the things that the Apple TV will give you if you decide to use it um, so I always use it and basically to record the screen what you can do is that you can just use your average or normal quick time player screen recorder um, to record your screen in PHD and yeah because you just need that key product from Apple and guys if you like this video rate comment and subscribe and thanks for watching this video see you later